Now, the capture of those explosives has raised new questions about terror activities in the country. Many analysts commend the police for averting what would have been one of Kenya's worst terror attacks to date. As KTN's Wilson Moro reports, the incident is also being seen as a wake-up call for Kenya's security apparatus. But I want to assure you that we have taken a lot of internal uh, measures, including even review of our procedures and processes and all that. The airport is out of bound. Only registered, recognized taxis that are going to operate in the airport. It was the usual response from the government after a cache of weapons was intercepted in Mombasa, hidden inside this vehicle. The government Wednesday lauded the police for what it says was a well-coordinated operation involving various security agencies that forestalled what could have been one of the biggest terror attacks on Kenyan soil. We have the will and the know-how to identify those who are involved and we actually dealing with them. The police say they were able to tap a phone call made by an Al-Shabaab operative in Kenya to their counterpart in Somalia, which was then traced to the vehicle. But the question on most minds is, how is it that that same vehicle remained in the Mombasa police headquarters for several days while still laden with all those explosives? Bomb experts tell KTN that the explosives designed to be detonated remotely had the capability to bring down a 20-story building. So, why wasn't the operation carried out earlier? We will not be able to say they were designed for there. It is really part of uh, uh, the terrorism problem that we face as part of the region. The operation would not have been successful without the involvement of the FBI. Reports indicate that the police were furnished with intelligence by the American counterparts on a possible attack in the country. And after the interception, it is the Americans' equipment that was then used to disarm the explosives. The target of this would-be attack is still unclear and the government remains tight-lipped on the same. Nevertheless, more questions than answers will now arise from this incident, most of them revolving around the country's customs and the intelligence system. Is Kenya's intelligence good enough to ensure that Kenyans can feel safe? Wilson Buru, KTN, Nairobi.